time to take their seat. And those traveling with children are invited to board now at gate D74. To make things easier, please have your boarding pass and your passport open. Oh, mommy. There's some really nice features across these Qantas seats. Um, there's a lot of space for storage of different items, especially because if you're traveling with children, there's rabbits and toys and bags and whatnot. The pajamas were a very light cotton, which meant that they were a lot more comfortable. And then they served a little takeoff drink. Sophia really seemed to like her seat. And even though the takeoff was really late, it was already, what, 10 o'clock and well after her bedtime, she did um, respond to it quite good spirits, actually. Um, it was just hard getting her to actually go to sleep just because obviously the lights were on and dinner was going to be served. But the Qantas staff were fantastic and their suggestion was set her up for sleep so that when she does inevitably pass out, she's already in the correct position. So I got her back into her jammies and we set up her chair and she proceeded to watch TV and hold on to Bunny until it was well after takeoff. I thought the Qantas business class food on the Japan route was spectacular. This was just a little bit less inspired, um, but the dinner was executed really well and you pre-order your breakfast, so there was a lot of choice. I'll speak more about breakfast later. The other thing that I had been holding my hoping and wishing and crossing my fingers for was that they would be um they would have bridgerton but in retrospect it probably isn't suitable for all audiences and would have needed to be edited etc etc so long story short there was no bridgerton and i just listened to my audiobooks for the 14 hours i did go and use some instagram magic to change into my pajamas Okay, so let's do a little review of the seat and let's talk about what is great and what isn't. Um, everything is great. It is a lie flat seat, which is wonderful. Realistically, a little bit wasted on me all of the leg room because I, I don't need it. I don't need it. But the moment I had the opportunity to do so, I converted the bed to a full lie flat and then was able to snuggle down for the night which was wonderful, and by this point, Sophia was asleep, which was amazing. Okay, so the little amenity kits were amenity kits. They had the usual things. I like the focus on sustainability. I prefer that than the wasteful plastic. Everything looks just a little bit more serious and a little bit less fun than the Kate Spade back um, when we went to Singapore. I don't actually remember if we got anything spectacular on our way to Japan just before COVID. Let's talk about the food. So the first meal that I ordered was the chicken with a couscous and a basic salad. Bread roll was okay, but came out cold. So it was spectacularly lovely bread and butter pudding, and I got an ice cream as well. At this point, Andrew lovingly reminded me that I'm a diabetic. There's little snacks that you can get along the length of the flight. I grabbed the banana for Sophia when she woke up, because it turns out that she isn't going to sleep for 14 hours straight, which is unfortunate. And then Andrew and I were able to communicate by using this little chat feature um, he was telling me the coffee's really good, which it worked out to be. Um, and, I, and I was telling him this Reuben sandwich was a spectacular. And I really enjoyed it because I've never met a Reuben I didn't like. I also ended up getting an espresso, which let's be honest, I desperately needed. Sophia's head unit broke again. When it broke while we were flying in economy, it wasn't able to be fixed. Now, magically fixed. Just like the magic of changing back into my landing clothes so one final snack doodle before we landed i went with the breakfast bagel which was really great and the worst toast in the universe of all time um 
it was really difficult to feed Sophia, but hey, coffee was at least good. Um, she refused to eat the toast because it was completely hard and basically a giant crouton. <laughs>